Hi there, Dr. Stenbeck again. I hope you've uh, been following the previous shows, which, and you should, follow them in uh, succession because uh, you'll get most help that way. And uh, as you know, in each show we're going to deal with a different organ of the body from a holistic perspective, looking at all the mental, emotional, spiritual, nutritional aspects of your healing. The things that you have command over before you necessarily need medical intervention. So, this is all about what you can do to help yourself. And uh, feel free to uh, visit the website drstenbeck.net and I'll show you that chart again at the end of the show. And each show is around five or six minutes long and I'll be giving you the basics you need to start uh, pulling yourself together. So, now let's look at uh, a chart I have of emotional body testing and uh, what you can do to remove the negative emotions of life that accumulate in your body organs. Okay, hang on now. Now your emotional body is all of the emotions, the negative feelings you collect while you're growing up and in adulthood. And I use the word here testing because this is the way we looked at it when I was practicing applied kinesiology. Now I'm just teaching and helping you help yourself. And the key is around identifying whatever imbalance is present emotionally, what emotions are locked in what organs in your body, and interfering with the health of those organs. Releasing the negative feelings, such as anger in the liver, is a key to liver healing, and so on for every organ of the body. And uh, you need to know why you're holding the feelings. And most times you do know. You know that mother or father or somebody hurt you uh, immensely and you're holding emotions around that event. The ideal, of course, is that as you release the negatives, you are reacquiring the positive emotions of life and their behaviors. So if you've grown up with anger locked in the body, you are releasing that to take on calm, peace and tranquility again, if not for the first time in your life. And these releases are to be done in writing. When we write about such programming, it releases from the unconscious. If you just speak it, it does nothing for the unconscious. Speaking reprogramming helps the mental body, your thinking. And we've already dealt with that in a previous show. Um, you have to forgive whoever abused you. And by that, I don't really mean the uh, Orthodox Christian approach to that, although if you are Christian, that works fine. But for most people, it's, uh, forgiveness means to release to God, release to the universe, any and all punishment you feel that somebody deserves for how much they hurt you. And you need to do that in writing. And uh, once you've written it, you sign and burn it. And I'll give you another chart on doing that uh, in a little while. Now, in reacquiring these positive emotions and behaviors that we all need and which our higher self wants us to attain as we release all the negative programming of our lives, uh, this chart uh, is an example of that. Uh, when we have, uh, for example, uh, anger in the liver, your ability to have the positive emotions of calm, peace and tranquility are very low. Sometimes they're zero. And as you release the negatives, these positives grow. And once they get to 50%, that's when you know you are healing yourself and you feel that happening in terms of the positive behaviors. And by the time they get to 100%, then you really know how much you are healing and the liver in this case will be then able to heal and uh, function correctly. And the same, we find this in diseases as well, that these emotions are that precede a physical disease, unless it's an acute infection, which of course overweighs all other considerations. Sometimes once you get up into the positives here, we find that there's unconscious blocks to going to 100%, and some particular trauma in childhood is usually behind that, and we have you do a written release on that. And just to further illustrate this example, uh, if you're holding anger, which locks into the liver first of all, but can also go into every cell of your being if it's intense enough, and as you do your first written release from the causative mechanism, the anger uh, will release to at least 50%, and as it goes up, the positives of the self-calm, uh, bliss, and tranquility can then be acquired. Now, in a previous show, uh, when we were talking about digestion, I showed you this chart 
which has the negative emotions we see in the different digestive organs and the opposite positives that you reacquire by releasing the emotional pain. And all of these charts are on the website uh, with a free chapter from my book that you can access and study it in depth. And um, I'll give you a chart on that a little later. So on these charts, every organ of the body is listed with its negative emotions and opposite positives. Now this is not new work. It's been around for at least 50 years in one form or another. And there have been some books written about it and more and more research is being done in the fields of psychology and psychiatry to show that written releases of negative programming result in not only positive emotional uh, work but uh, in healing is further acquired by releasing these emotions. So you can see all of this in, on the website. Now this emotional release is also on the website and uh, you can start uh, working on yourself right after this show just by addressing whoever af abused you at all emotionally or physically in your childhood and start writing about it and start healing yourself and uh, the release is about you write about the pain you went through you release the emotions from the appropriate organs replace them with the opposite positives and you do a forgiveness you release this pain to the universe you forgive yourself for holding on to it and you sign it and burn it Seems simple, and all great truths are simple. And uh, those of you who have been through a 12-step program have bumped into this sort of thing before. Because, uh, you know, in the 12-step programs you address all the pain of your life and forgive people who have hurt you. The only difference here is that it's a bit more specific, and after it's done you need to destroy the document. You need to take it off the planet. And you do this by signing it to take ownership, and then you burn it. That's the best way to release it. Overnight, the emotions locked in your body and your brain are gone, and you will, your health will start improving overnight. So, make sure you check in with the website to have a look at, at this. Well, there we have it. Does it sound too easy? Well, you try it. You'll find that it makes immense differences in your healing, both physically and mentally and emotionally. And in a later show, we'll be dealing with the spiritual stress of life and how that impacts upon your healing and what you can do to help yourself. So here's the website, uh, Dr. Stenbeck, drstenbeck.net, and you'll see lots of information there that's uh, of uh, interest. You'll see all these shows that are in preparation for you, for every organ of the body. And uh, you can particularly uh, take advantage of uh, asking me a question on any one health issue you have, and I'll give you some complimentary feedback on that. If you have anything more complicated, we'd need to do an online consult. I've had uh, psychologists, psychotherapists as patients, and they really like this work because it complements regular therapy. All right then, next uh, show, I'll look forward to seeing you then, and we'll be continuing with the digestive system. Okay, all right, bye for now.